Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Um, I am helping my wife get her classroom set back up and I thought that I would show you guys three Arduino projects for the classroom. Uh, you've seen two of them if you have watched my channel last year when I built these things for my wife, but this one is uh, new, at least new to the channel. About a year ago, maybe two, I bought this at a yard sale for a dollar. It originally had three little incandescent lights in it and all three of them would light up when you plug the thing in. Uh, no interactivity or anything like that. And I thought it'd be fun for her classroom to have a way to take a remote and when you push the remote you can decide if you want the light to be red, yellow, or green. You could use it for games like red light, green light. Uh, and go back and forth pretty quickly, or you could use it to tell the class that they're being too loud. Um, it would also be possible to hook a microphone up to it or something like that. Um, but basically, I paid a buck for this thing, and I'm going to open it up and uh, show you what I did. So because this is going in the classroom at a public school, I did not want to cut any high voltage wires, so I am using an untouched extension cord with an untouched um, phone charger, which is a crap ton of glue, I believe is the technical term for it. And um, I'm using three of these little seven LED 50-50 uh, NeoPixel style rings, and uh, they are daisy chained together. So you'll see this one goes to this one, goes to this one, and it's only taking up one pin on the Arduino. So essentially what that means is I am treating this entire thing as if it was one 21 light light strip. And I'm telling it light the first seven green, light the second seven yellow, and the third seven um, red. And then beyond that, so that's only taking up one pin, then we've got our power and ground, and then we've got our little 433 megahertz receiver. Again, power, ground, and one pin. So as far as an Arduino project goes, uh, this is pretty simple. And of course, I will post the uh, description of how to wire the thing up and the code in the description, and it's at my GitHub at another maker. Um, so yeah, I, I, we could have done this with relays. We could have uh, done that, but then we would have had all kinds of high voltage splices on the inside. And uh, we could put a microphone inside and make it automatically change colors. But I, I've never been a fan of how those Arduino microphones work, uh, get kind of mixed results. So I thought the remote would be the way to go. Next up is a video that I have a complete build or a complete tutorial on. And this is in one of these little Ryobi phone cases and uh, this is a little um, buzzer system for games and this is made to be pretty uh, pretty durable pretty easy to clean uh, in these COVID times you can Lysol wipe that puppy down and the entire thing is self-contained in here uh, we've got a little battery pack which again being at the school I don't want to roll my own battery charging solution so I have an off-the-shelf battery pack which powers an Arduino and so simply we've got four buttons and the uh the little same type of led thing that we had before and our same 433 megahertz receiver so the way this one works if i remember it's been a while um i can do i have the right controller so, yep so i can clear it i can press b to arm it and then when i've asked the question i can press c to unlock it and that will allow somebody to come in and buzz in uh, if they got it wrong, I can hit the D button and then the next person can buzz in. If they got it right, I can hit the A button and clear the whole thing out. So again, four arcade buttons, an Uno, a battery pack, a little light, you know, nothing overly complicated, but this has the lockout feature. So in other words, if I come in here and, uh, let's see, we turned off, I turned it off. If we come in here and, um, arm it and let somebody buzz in, this person buzz in, these other people can't buzz in. So it will get down to the hundredth, if not thousandth of a second, who buzzed in first. Teacher has total control if they want to let the next person buzz in or not. If they do that, then this person can't buzz in again. This person can't buzz in again. It has to be one of these two. Um, and so super simple project, but kind of adds a little fun uh, game show element to the classroom and completely wireless. Last but not least, we have my third take on the same project, and this one has been running on the same batteries all year. So I made this little laser cut box uh, with a little speaker in it, and it's got its power supply, so we'll go ahead and plug that in. Um, 
The reason why my wife has a couple of these is she does lend them out to other teachers and let them play with them and stuff like that. So uh, plug it in here, just a normal Arduino power cord there. You get a little buzzer. And then we've got these four remote control battery powered uh, buzzer boxes. And same basic controls. You can arm it. And I think, yep, so this person buzzed in, yellow buzzed in, and uh, that was taken off. I can decide whether they got it right or wrong. Um, now this person, yellow, is blacked out. So we can come over here, red can buzz in, they can get it right, uh, they can get it wrong, whatever. So um, anyway, that is how it works. I've got an entire build video on that one too, but I just wanted to show you a couple of ideas so that you can... Uh, get some inspiration for some things to build for the classroom, maybe brighten the place up a little bit. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe out there and stay healthy.